In this video, I want to show you how you can use the brand new number link puzzle generator to create your very own number link puzzles. So once you load the application, it will look a little bit like this here. On the left, you'll see a empty grid. And on the right here, we have various settings. So our first option here is for our grid. And this controls our grid size. So as you can see, as I change this here, the size of the grid is then changed on the left. Our next option is for our inner grid lines here. The size of the dashes we can control like this. And then finally here, we have an option to control our outer border thickness like so. And again, we can choose a different color if we wish as well. And after this, we have our inner. So at the moment, obviously we have our inner here, but if we want, we can turn that off and we can also control the thickness of our inner. And of course, again, the color of our inner as well. Now, after this, we have our puzzle options. So the first one is how many um, numbers pairs do you want on the grid? So that's the numbers that you have to link together. We can also control a minimum distance between them. And finally, we have an option here for the number of attempts. So this is the amount of tries that it will attempt basically to generate a valid puzzle. If it doesn't in that time, then it will skip and regenerate and try again. Now, for most instances, 20 um, at the bottom, the default setting is fine. But if you're creating uh, larger puzzles with uh, many more uh, numbers, then you might want to ramp this up a little bit. Our next option here is to generate and save in bulk. So by default, this creates the one puzzle, like so, which then we can save down the bottom here. But if we want to bulk create, we can do this. If we tick this box, um, this box here, and then in here, we can either use the plus and minus to change, or we can type how many puzzles we want to generate. And then what you do is hit generate. But before I do that, I was going to show you the final few options here we have. So we have our text option, so we can control our text size. And again, this is reflected on the left. So we can preview this before we even make anything. We can choose our text color again. We can choose to randomize our text colors. And we can also load different fonts. So if you've downloaded a font that you really like from Creative Fabric or, or, or anywhere, what we can do is we can click load font and browse to it wherever you have it stored and then choose it. And then it will replace the numbers in the puzzle with that particular font. And then our next option here is for our solution option. So we can choose the thickness of our path. Again, as you can see, that is reflected straight away on the left-hand side as well. And then finally, we have our save options. So here we can choose the size of the image that we want to export. Now this will only export as PNG. So if you want a high quality um, output, then ramp this up somewhat to whatever you desire. Let's go for that one there. And then finally, we can select uh, where we want to save our puzzles. And then after this, we can select our solution save path and click select there. So now I've got all my settings and I have my puzzles how I uh, want them. If you're creating a single puzzle, 
click save puzzle and solution here if we're generating in bulk hit generate puzzle here and then we just wait for that process to complete as you can see here we have a progress bar here and each puzzle as it's generated displays on the left hand side also just wait for that to complete And then at the top, we see it says total of 100 puzzles are generated successfully. So then if we go to our puzzle save folder, we can see all of our puzzles generated in here. And then they are then matched the corresponding name with solutions in this folder. Now, you might be thinking, that's great. So how do I compile these into a book or a page. Well, if you um, purchase the number link generator, what you will also get in addition to this for free is the uh, puzzle compiler. So what this will allow you to do is select the folder and basically import these images, these puzzles into a page with your custom um, width and height and your margins and how many uh, puzzles you want per slide, etc. And you can even add titles above these. So you could have puzzle one or number link one, two, three, four, etc. And this you can then save as a open office, a PowerPoint or a um, PDF file. So then you can further edit and customize them um, into a final product. So I hope this quick video um, introduction to the number link generator helps you. Thank you for watching.